Hello, welcome back to part two of our braided coils um, tutorial special. To so on part one, we just learned how to do a normal three loop uh, braided coil, which is basically three loops, six strands of wire. So for today, we're going to be doing the seven loop Celtic coil, Celtic braided coil. Um, so without further ado, let's set it all up and get cracking. So this is what you're going to need. Same thing as usual. You're going to need your vise. You're going to need your wire. This time I'm going to be using a 32 gauge nichrome wire because I want to get the nice colors and the, the flavor. Um, pliers, cutting pliers, and this is just for you to wrap the coil once it's done. Again, this time I'm not going to be wearing any gloves. Um, I suggest you guys to do it. And first things first, because it's going to be a seven loop, we're going to have to cut seven strips of wire and then loop them up. So I'm just gonna do this really quickly. So you guys, this is not a too long video, I'm just gonna fast forward. Same principle is to keep the wire stretched. You just literally going to like proper pull it up and just give it a little stretch. When the, once you feel the, the wire give in a little bit, that's when you know that the wire is gonna keep a straight, straight shape. And there you go, you just need to do this seven times now. Now that you have your wires on the vise, you just need to spread them out so they don't get tangled. So this is going to take some patience from your side. But basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that each wire is actually on its own. This is the, the weird bit. Just I'm going to fast forward anyway, so bear with me. Okay, now that you have your wires all spread out, what you need to do is basically have four wires in this hand three wires in this end and we're going to follow the same logic as the previous video which is you're going to have to make sure that your index finger and your thumb are free which is what we're going to call your operator finger so basically you grab one like this well actually it's going to go one on your pinky finger one on your ring finger one on your middle finger and one on your index on this end it's going to be one on your ring finger one on your middle finger actually one on your pinky one on your ring finger one on the middle finger all right so basically you need to make sure they get all stretched and then what you're going to do is you're going to put your operator finger which is your thumb oh your thumb your index and your thumb you're going to go over the first one here so this will be the first one over it under the middle one which is this one and then over this one the the ring one and then you grab the little one that's in your pinky so basically again it's gonna be hard to see just spread this out just so your index one you're gonna go over it your middle finger you're gonna go under it and then you're gonna stretch in and you're gonna grab the one that's in your index in your pinky okay and that's basically all there is to it so basically you go under your index one over your index one under your middle one and grab your pinky and just pull like this now you have four on this hand you're gonna get three on this one you just need to shift them all the way around until you get your index and your thumb free and then in this side you're gonna do exactly the same thing so you're gonna go over your index finger under 
your ring finger and you're gonna grab the one in your pinky so you grab it you pull it again and that's all there is to it Ugh. you just need to be patient and just carry on with time you're gonna make this seamless you get used to it you just need to make sure that once you've done it you just stretch and then just carry on doing it so I am going to fast forward until we're completed and I'm going to show you the end result And there you have it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this around here. It's gonna be a bit thick, so there you go. And then I'm gonna cut here. There you go. Your Celtic seven loop braided coil. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna wrap it up, put some cotton in it, and we're gonna vape on it. So to wrap it, you can e do several ways. You can just wrap it using your fingers, or you can actually just grab a set of pliers, just like grab it, put it here on the side, like this, and just wrap it with your fingers. But either way, this is because we did this with 32 gauge, it's actually really easy to, to wrap. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. So let's just give it a little snip. Well done. This is not focusing properly. There you go. No, we got four wraps out of this one, so let's put it on RDA and give it a go. So for the RDA, what are we going to use? We're gonna be using the Hellbeast RDA. And I'm gonna show you that you don't actually need to do this only on RDAs, okay? It's it's not just a 
RDA thing. You can put this on RTAs and everything else. Okay, so let me just focus this a little bit. So again, we're gonna put this in a di in a uh, either like this or maybe like this, a single coil setup. And then we're gonna straighten it up and give it a go. So see how much it's of course if you had the second one you could actually put it here as well and it would look just sweet so this is actually quite stuck there you go zero point twenty two So we're gonna put this on this mod. And give it a go. Heat it up, get rid of the hot spots. Now we just need to wick it and we're good to go. Now, if you make like I did, this is on an RDA. If you want to do this on an RTA, for example, you might be thinking that how am I going to put this? Now, this coil that I've just done, it's actually using a thicker gauge wire. And if you look closely, let's see if I can focus this properly. See? You can actually put it on a mesh style RTA or if you do have a normal RTA you can like you know it doesn't have to be a an, an proper RDA there you go I might need to do a little bit more adjustments but that's it now we're gonna wick it and uh, we're gonna vape on it and for the wicking I'm gonna be using cotton bacon usual I'm just gonna make sure that this will actually fit so. give it a uh, squonky squonk and of course we can always give it a little bit of help with some liquid I'm gonna be using the jungle secrets from 12 monkeys just make sure it gets all nice and done and I'm drooling all over the place Top on. <laughs> All right, moment of truth. So I'm gonna be vaping this one at 60 watts out of my Vandy Vape Pulse and. There you go. Pulls the flavors just perfectly. It's just like mwah. Um, although the airflow, as you can see, like it, the. This mod is not ideal, this mod, this RDA is not ideal to put the coils the way I put it. Um, you might want to get a, a different mod or use this on a different mod, but still, even with the airflow sideways, instead of getting the coil completely on the side, it's actually getting the coil like this, it still gets a really good flavor and it gets like good clouds as well, look at this. Not bad, and you can also, you know, if it's a beefy coil, and if it's taking too much ramp up time, you can always blow in, blow into it to give it time to warm up while you're not getting like you know the the weird uh, vapor. Mm. 
there you go so now you guys if you follow this properly now you guys know how to do the seven loop celtic braided coil and this will give you the layout for our part final part which is part three where we're gonna make a really special call for you guys that it's basically easy but it looks awesome so either way if you like this put you know the standard like subscribe follow me on instagram and let me know in the comments what you think about this uh, call tutorial if you want to do if you want me to do more or not either way just see you all next week take care <laughs>